45 right now and me and my son are on the way to the hospital because he is about to have a procedure done and yeah i'll let you guys know more information when we get to the hospital we are here and of course we are late supposed to be here at six it's like 602 What's your name? Um, Barbara Leatherwood. Leatherwood? Yes. What's your name, Mama? Shakaya Kaver. S-H-A-K-A-Y. L-A-N. Kaver. T-A-V-E-R. And this is for you if you want to go in and out of the hospital while he's back there. You know where you're going? No. You're going to take that hallway right there by the gift shop? The left hall? Yeah. Okay. And you hit that bend as your second door on your right. It'll say surgery. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on. All right, we're going to go to room six. Is this a restaurant? Yeah. Wait, we're gonna wait till she come back to let us know. Y'all, he is very nervous. Excuse how I am looking this morning. I was rushing. I didn't have time to do nothing. But let me give you all the rundown. Okay, so my son decides that he wants to stick things in his ear. This is his fourth time having something in his ear. And this time, they have to surgically remove it. Guys, it's so nerve-wracking because surgery itself is so scary. Being under anesthesia is just so scary. Like, some people don't wake up from it. And then, we got COVID-19 up in this thing. So, I'm just like... I'm very nervous right now. I'm trying not to be because I don't want him to be scared. I know God got us covered in the blood of Jesus though, so, you know. 
as you guys just saw, the waiting room was full. There were a whole lot of children that were being called. It is very cold in here, like very cold. I am freezing. I have a blanket though, so. Whew. Once he goes back into surgery, I'll just probably sit down and edit or something. Okay, so let me tell you. So, Brayla had to have the coronavirus test done on Friday. And, of course, it came back negative because he doesn't have coronavirus. Thank God. But we had to have the test done before he could have the surgery. So, this morning and last night, he couldn't eat anything. He couldn't drink anything. So, we're here on the empty stomach before we get our anesthesia. You okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you finna go into surgery, boy. You ready? Mm -hmm. I keep asking you that. You a big boy. Braylon, I bet you won't stick nothing else in your ear, will you? I know you won't. <laughs> It ain't even funny. You too big for that. You know that, don't you? You know you're too big to be sticking stuff in your ear. But y'all, when I tell you whatever is in his ear is like this close to his eardrum. So if they were to try to get it out at the doctor's office, if he make one false move, it could puncture his eardrum. So that is why we are here. I am running off of three hours of sleep because your girl couldn't sleep last night. I was so nervous. I feel like I have bags under my eyes. I was so nervous. I was tossing and turning. My eyes were open. I was trying not to wake up my baby because she wakes up easy. But I was just up and I did a lot of praying last night. So Because even though it's not like a major surgery, he still has to be put to sleep. And that just makes me so nervous, like so, so nervous. But we are finally back here. The doctor just came in. He said that the surgery should not take more than 10 minutes. And that is awesome because your girl is hungry. It's pushing on nine o'clock. So after the surgery, me and Braylon are going to go get something to eat and we are going to go home. And I will keep you guys up. I just took them back and I am going back to the waiting room. <sighs> I know it's not going to take long, but it makes me so nervous. Brave. You was brave. Why are you looking at me like that? It hurt. Don't touch it. Don't you touch it. You okay? You sure? Cause you act kind of crazy. That you still feel like you got medicine in you? Them, them pants was on backwards. Mm -hmm. Upside down. Lay back down. What happened? You didn't know what was going on. <laughs> you was drunk. <laughs> you was drunk, really. Brandon said, I don't know what you're talking about. Your eyes got blurry. Oh. You don't like, you ain't like that, did it? I bet you can. I bet you won't stick nothing else in your ear. Then you woke up. So, me and Brandon are home. He's actually right there eating his soup. And that's my niece running away. 
but we are home and i'm gonna let you guys know what exactly what the doctor said the doctor said that it was a piece of metal in his ear and i'm gonna show you exactly what size and shape it was this is the size and shape of what was in braylon's ear but it did cause bleeding he has to rest for today eat very light and by tomorrow i could take the cotton out of his ear and he can go back to his normal activities unless he is feeling sick the nurse told me to expect some nausea and a lot of sleeping so that's probably what's going to happen today he's just gonna hang out in my room and watch television while i just do my mommy thing because my baby is whining right now so yeah but that is all for this video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget that i do upload three times a week once on monday once on wednesday and once on friday so hit that notification bell become part of the notification gang gang and i'll see you guys later bye